President Donald J. Trump. Yet another Trump victory in the race to be presidential candidate. After South Carolina, this has the air of a nomination nailed down. An even bigger win than we anticipated. And I was just informed that we got double the number of votes that has ever been received in the great state of South Carolina. It had been a primary contest between Trump and the woman that he once appointed ambassador to the United Nations. Thanks so much. Yeah. Good to see you all. Nikki Haley had sharpened her attacks on this leg of the race, calling Donald Trump confused, weak at the knees on Russia, and siding with a dictator in Vladimir Putin. And yet, she made limited impression on solid Trump support, but vowed to keep trying. I said earlier this week that no matter what happens in South Carolina, I would continue to run for president. I'm a woman of my word. This was the Conservative Political Action Conference in Washington, D.C. this weekend. The Republican picture today is of a party with a center of gravity shifted behind Donald Trump. Donald Trump uh, getting ready to speak here. All right, my man, we can do this all day. Trump, we're hearing he's a little delayed, he's a little behind us. They had come here to see the headline act. We all know and love the man who great bravery in the administration. A MAGA movement locked in. When Trump was president, inflation was low. We were energy independent, and that's the key thing. Trump is a movement. He's not a person anymore. He's a movement. Donald Trump is the last hope for America. If Donald Trump is not the next president, America will be over. All the stuff we worked so hard for, whatever money you made, whatever family you got, is pretty much going to be gone. It is his party and his nomination to lose. So close, he can touch it. James Matthews, Sky News, in Washington.